Hi, I'm Miss Joanna and I'm one of the directors for Up With Kids. And today we're going to do a lesson on note reading. So before we get started, I need you to go get a piece of lined paper from your notebook from school and a pencil. So go do that. Okay, now that you have that, we are going to learn the notes on a music staff. So this is what a music staff looks like. We have a treble clef and a bass clef. Today, we're gonna focus on treble clef. Treble clef is the clef um, that is most popular with the melody line. The melody line is the, the part of the song that sounds most familiar, that you can follow along. That's for girls and boys. It will be written in treble clef. So we're gonna learn the names of those notes. So with your lined paper, Get your pencil out and mark out five lines and then you're going to write a treble clef. So you start here in the middle and you do a little swirl around and then go up to the top, make a loop and then back down and a little dot at the bottom. Maybe do that a couple times to practice. But that is a treble clef. So now, now that you have what's called a music staff, we're going to name all the notes. Okay, we're going to start with the lines. The lines are, um, we have an acronym. An acronym is a saying that helps us remember. So this acronym goes like this. It goes, every good boy does fine. In the beginning of each of those words is the name of that note. So the line down here, we always start down on the bottom. And then we go up to the top. So it's E, G, B, D, and F. Good, one more time. Every good boy does fine. Those are the names of the lines. Then we're gonna come down here. Now you can do this on the same line on your paper. You don't have to write out five more lines. I just wanted to separate them so you could see a good difference. Down here, we're gonna talk about the spaces. So in between each line, there's a space. And those also have names. And this, the spaces, way we remember that is with a rhyme. So a word that rhymes with space is face. And we spell out the word face. So at the bottom, F, A, C, E. Good, okay, so those are the names of the spaces and the lines. So if we did it all together, we'd go from the bottom, we'd go E, F, G, A, B, C, D, E, F. Yeah, it's like the alphabet. So we don't have any H's or I's. Once we get to G, we start back over on A. So we don't keep going up higher. G is the highest we go. So those are the names of the notes on treble clef. Now that's important because when you go to an audition for a musical, they'll hand you a sheet of music and say, I need to learn this song. And you're gonna need to learn that. And if you don't know how to read any kind of notes, it would be a lot harder to do that. So that's why it's important to know that. So we are actually going to write out a song ourselves. So this is the song. These are the notes for the song Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. So with your pencil, I want you to write out five more lines and you're going to notate, which means you're going to write out the notes. Okay, so copy what I have here. So we start with E. So we have two E's and then we go up to two B's, then two C's, and a B. Good. And then you do two A's, two G's, two F's, and then end with an E. And then we can sing those notes. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. How I wonder 
what you are. Good. Now sing it with me. Now the notes, if you notice, we start down low in our voice on a low note, and then we follow the pattern. We go up higher if the note's higher. And that's how we read the notes. So start down here on twinkle, twinkle, little star. Ready? Twinkle, twinkle, little star. How I wonder what you are. Good. One more time, but this time we're going to say the names of the notes instead. Ready? E, E, B, B, C, C, B. A, A, G, G, F, F, E. Good. So you just notated your first song. That's what a composer does, is write out notes. Now there's one more way that we could sing those notes, and it's using the technique called solfege. Solfege helps us remember where the notes are located without remembering the names of the notes. So it could be on any note, it doesn't have to be on E. It could be on an F or a G, any starting note, that'd be our Do. So for this exercise, we're gonna start on E. That's gonna be our Do. And we're gonna go up an octave, which is eight notes. Now two of them are the same. So we go from an E all the way up to the next E. See that the space, the top space is an E. This time we're gonna use solfege. So we're gonna say solfege. It goes, Do, Re, Mi, Fa, So, La, Ti, Do. Good. So we're gonna sing this song one more time, but this time we're gonna use solfege. So we're gonna start on our Do, which is an E. We're gonna sing it. Do, do, so, so, la, la, so. Fa, fa, mi, mi, re, re, do. Good. So I want you at home, see if you can find some sheet music and see if you can follow your voice, follow the notes up and down the scale and see if you can do that. And then you'll get really good at memorizing all the names of those notes. So then when you look at some music, you can know what to do. So have fun with this and good luck.